wilder than we imagined. I hope you like it. Oh, if it gets too scary, just close your eyes for a few seconds. But don't fall asleep! As we neared the moon, little did we know there was a huge surprise in store for us. We were too busy looking at the giant craters and mountain ranges. there was a huge explosion on the sun. Its particles would reach the moon at the exact time of our launch. Our spacecraft was clamped to the roller coaster power base and in no time, we were on our way into space. It started just like a normal ride. But here on the moon, with no atmosphere, we soon hit an astonishing speed. Wow, this is the light tunnel that was supposed to blast us out into the solar system. I realized it was taking way too long. We were heading far out into space. But to where? The solar explosion had warped our light tunnel, and we were lost in intergalactic space. Definitely not in our solar system. We were rapidly approaching a huge galaxy with massive jets. I knew right away we were heading towards its center in a massive black hole. If we stayed on this path, we could disappear forever. As we sped closer and closer, I managed to activate the emergency anti-gravity pulse, and we veered off in a new direction. Woo! Soon we were passing by this, the Whirlpool Galaxy, a vast collection of billions of suns. It's 25 million light years away from Earth. Oh, so cool. Onwards we sped. Were we heading home or into the depths of the universe? Approaching this galaxy, I recognized it from my astronomy books as Centaurus A. It's only 13 million light years from the sun, so hopefully we might be getting closer to our home in the Milky Way galaxy. Our craft is traveling into a galaxy. It looked a lot like our own Milky Way, but I didn't recognize anything. The autopilot was trying to guide us back, but it wasn't working very well. We were veering all over the place. It was all very pretty, though, with lots of colored stars and great clouds of gas and dust. Our sun is a star like these, and I wondered if it was nearby. Please. It wasn't. We were being pulled in by the gravity of a huge black hole near the galaxy's center. This monster could devour whole stars without even a burp. 
Swallowing us would be like a whale swallowing a sardine. Excuse me. I hit the emergency gravity reversal pulse again and we moved away. Soon we were passing through beautiful clusters of stars. There were these big clouds of gas called nebula. I thought I recognized some. We were definitely inside the Milky Way, our home galaxy. We were approaching the Orion Nebula. It's very famous on Earth since it's easily visible in the night sky. But here we were sailing through it, enclosed in this vast shell of hydrogen gas. All around were hot new stars, and here and there, looking like tadpoles, were solar systems being born from gas, dust, and gravity. Wow, this is great! It was like traveling back in time, in Doctor Who's TARDIS! six billion years ago, this is what happened in our own solar system when the sun first began to shine and the planets formed. It's a dangerous place, though. Planets are still being made, crashing into each other with vast collisions and explosions. Too too close. Oh, phew. Her autopilot seemed to be working again, so we all could just relax and enjoy the view. We relaxed too soon. A warning sounded. The blue star we were approaching was a cosmic time bomb. We had to back away fast. This is what happens when a star many times more massive than the sun reaches the end of its life. It explodes! We call it a supernova! Star explosions like this actually seed space with many of the building blocks of planets like the Earth and creatures like us! Isn't this beautiful? It's a planetary nebula. Nothing to do with planets, though. It's all that's left when a star like our sun comes to the end of its life. Its gas is gently puffed into space over billions of years, forming these beautiful bubbles. Thankfully, stars like our sun don't explode. <laughs> the autopilot announced that we were approaching the outer solar system. We were definitely on the right track now. Before long, we were zooming past Neptune and Uranus. Both are huge spheres, mostly of hydrogen, helium, and methane, about 50,000 kilometers across. Each has a family of many moons and thin rings. It's this world that is the true Lord of the Rings, Saturn. We actually went inside the rings and we dodged around the ice blocks, many as big as our family car. Saturn itself is a big ball of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium. Our Earth could fit inside many hundreds of times.
Would you believe we space surfed these ice grooves on Enceladus, one of Saturn's many moons? a huge water geyser shot up from an ocean below the ice. Whoa! 